Today, we are pleased to have two guest speakers from Center for Resource Solutions, both of whom are named Jennifer. Jennifer Giles is the Director of Sustainable Energy Initiatives, and Jennifer Martin is the Deputy Director. Together, they're going to provide us with a business primer on renewable energy credits, which are also called RECs. Center for Resource Solutions is a national nonprofit that creates market solutions and policies to advance sustainable energy. Through their Green E program, CRS implements standards on the voluntary renewable energy market that help protect companies and consumers. How can RECs help your company build a credible renewable energy strategy? Jennifer Martin will provide an overview of how RECs work and will highlight the Green E certification program. She has worked for nearly two decades with private, nonprofit, and governmental stakeholders in the development of renewable energy markets and technologies. Jennifer has a Master's of Public Policy from Duke University and an undergraduate degree from Pomona College. Then Jennifer Giles will discuss options for purchasing RECs and the claims businesses can make to stakeholders. She has worked in the nonprofit and private sectors as well, performing carbon benchmarking and developing strategies to utilize renewable energy in business operations. She has an MS in Environmental Policy, Planning, and Assessment from the London School of Economics and an undergraduate degree from American University. Our presentation will take about 30 minutes, after which we will take your questions. And I'd like to thank people who have sent in some questions in advance. You are encouraged to do so at any point during the presentation using the panel uh, on your screen. And now I'm pleased to introduce Jennifer Martin. All right, thanks very much for that kind introduction. Um, we're very happy to be here today. I'm going to start out um, by just giving a general introduction to CRS, and then I'll give you an outline of what we plan to cover. Um, as Frankie just introduced, CRS is a nonprofit. We're based here in San Francisco, where this webinar is being broadcast from. We work in both policy and market, so our market programs are generally focused on consumer protection and setting standards for um, corporate and individual environmental performance. We are supported um, through grants from foundations and government, and we collect fees and also through private foundations. We run three certification programs, um, Greeny Energy and Greeny Marketplace, which are focused on the renewable energy market, and also Greeny Climate, which is a new program, which is a consumer protection program for carbon offsets. Today, our presentation is going to first focus on U.S. electricity markets and the role of renewable energy and renewable energy certificates. And then we'll transition into talking about how businesses can use renewable energy and what are appropriate ways to communicate about your renewable energy commitments. Why are we so focused on electricity? 34% um, of U.S. greenhouse gas emissions come from the production of electricity in the United States. And if you look at where that electricity is used, more than a third of it is used by the commercial sector. And so it's very important for businesses when they're looking at their carbon footprint to assess how they're using electricity, what type of electricity they're using, and what steps they can do to reduce the impact of that. Just to give you a sense of where your electricity is coming from, in the United States, electricity is generated mainly from fossil fuels and nuclear power. If you look at the renewable slice of the US, U.S. electricity mix, it's only 2.5%. And that's very small, so we've got a long way to go. Luckily, and we'll get into this later, um, voluntary purchases of renewable energy are doing a lot to drive the, um, the construction of new generation facilities. So the commercial sector is helping make that slice grow. When we talk about renewable energy, um, I just wanted to give a few quick definitions so that we're all on the same page. Um, what is renewable energy? So renewable energy is electricity that's generated from renewable resources. So that's energy from the sun, wind, earth, and water. Um, in the Green E program, and generally when companies talk about renewables, they do not include large hydroelectric facilities because large hydro has a lot of negative environmental impacts. Um, the hydro facilities that are included in programs like Green E are ones that are certified as low-impact hydro facilities or ones that are very small in size. Why use renewables? 
Um, because renewable energy is clean and emits little or no greenhouse gas emissions, it's the only way to generate electricity without the use of fossil fuels or nuclear energy, both of which are depletable resources. How do you get renewable energy? Well, you mu to buy renewable energy, you must purchase electricity and renewable energy certificates. And you don't have to buy them from the same supplier. Most of you have probably seen pictures like this before. Um, just a quick definition about what a REC is. Um, when you produce electricity from a renewable resource, two tradable commodities are created. One is the energy that flows onto the grid. And the second are the renewable attributes, which, rec which represent the environmental benefits and social benefits of generating electricity from a renewable resource. Why do we even have RECs? Um, the reason is, is that RECs enable electricity users who are not directly interconnected to the renewable generator to be able to purchase renewable electricity. Um, RECs were really created in the late 1990s um, to expand markets for renewable generators. Without RECs, say prior to the development of REC markets, the only way that a business or a consumer could use renewable energy is if they were directly interconnected to the renewable resource or if their utility was directly connected to it and purchased it on their behalf. RECs allow consumers to buy renewables even if their utility is not delivering it to them or even if they're not directly connected to it. So just a little bit more about RECs. What do RECs do and why are they important in the market? RECs provide um, proof that you have purchased renewable energy. So if you're a utility and you buy electricity from a renewable generator, but you don't buy the REC, regulators and the federal government and state governments won't let you claim that you're using renewable electricity. You have to buy the REC with it in order to show that you've bought renewable electricity. RECs support financing of new renewable energy facilities. Um, most project developers these days, when they're sketching out their project finances, will include in their expectation of future revenue, revenue from the sale of the energy that they generate at their facility, and also projections of revenue from the sale of the renewable energy certificates. And it's an important um, financial stream for the development of new, re new resources. Um, RECs monetize the value of renewable attributes attributes such as no greenhouse gas emissions, no particulate emissions, no mercury emissions, um, no environmental impacts from mining, fuel extraction, and transportation, and many other social and environmental attributes um, from renewable generation. RECs also increase liquidity in renewable energy markets. As I explained earlier, um, before the development of RECs, renewable energy generators had very small markets in which they could sell. They were defined regionally and constricted by the transmission grid. RECs allow renewable generators to sell their renewable attributes to customers anywhere in the country. And by that, they break down the geographic boundaries that are um, intrinsic in the grid through transmission access and also state boundaries. Many people get confused about whether RECs are a donation or a subsidy program. Um, they are neither. RECs are a tradable environmental commodity, just like wheat or corn. Um, they're tracked in tracking systems. There's banking accounts for them. They're traded between parties. And at the point of claim, they're retired. Um, and then I mentioned earlier, selling a REC is an important revenue stream for renewable energy project owners. Just like selling the electricity, um, the REC price is determined by supply and demand. Um, 